What's up guys, Alex from FIFA Scouting Tips here, and welcome to this guide to the cheapest high potential right backs in FIFA 15. Now if you liked my last series on cheap high potential players, but felt that uh, they're still a bit expensive and you couldn't afford them, uh, then this is the series for you because all players in the lower league gem series will cost you a million pounds or less. And if, uh, if you can't buy them straight away, I make sure that their value is £500,000 or less so that you know that when they become available in January you should still be able to get a good bargain for them. So make sure you head over to fifascoutingtips.com uh, for the full article. Today I'm just going to have a look at my recommendations from that article. But that article will have uh, every player in the game who has a minimum potential of 76 and uh, a maximum cost of £1 million so you know you're getting good players they're not just useless players they're all very high potential players and uh, all the articles are sorted by position as well so it's easy to find what you're looking for so let's have a look at who, who I'm recommending this time round and first of all we have got Gianluca Polacce and he starts at 59 overall he's got 79 potential and he's 18 years old he plays for Lazio and uh, if you send your scout to have a look at him, he'll come back with a price of £70,000. But if you inquire to Lazio, they want £500,000. So that's still a pretty decent price. And uh, you can get him for around about £400,000. So you can get a bit of a discount on him as well. Uh, his wages are £2,250. He has a two-year contract at Lazio. He's right-footed with a two-star weak foot and two-star skill moves. Now, thanks to his really high potential, but his relatively low overall, he's got 20 points to grow, so that means that he will grow very quickly. You can expect three, maybe even four, or perhaps five points of growth a season if he does well. So he should shoot up really, really quickly. Uh, his technical stats will go up fantastically well. He doesn't start off with the best physical stats, but as he gets older, they should hopefully start to grow, so he'll become a nice, well-rounded player. And that high potential, 79, he could go higher than that, he could outgrow it. Like I said, he'll grow quickly, so there's every chance that he could get into the 80s and his uh, technical stats all round will become very good. If you have a look, his passing, uh, short passing is fairly decent compared to his other stats as well and his ball control is quite good too, so he might be good going forward, but he can tackle as well, so he'll be a good defender as well. So he's the one to go for if you're looking for a high potential player at a really good price, like I said, just about £400,000, very, very cheap player for his potential. So next up we've got Lucas Klosterman and if you felt that uh, Palace was a bit too slow and you want someone who's really fast straight away this is the guy to get. He's the fastest player uh, out of all the players I look at on my website uh, in this article. 85 sprint speed and 82 acceleration. He's lightning quick already and that's just going to get better as he grows older. Uh, so he's going to be very dangerous. Going forward he's going to beat defenders but he's also going to be able to catch up with attackers as well and get the ball off them. He's got good marking and good tackling as well so he's good at defending. And he's also 6 foot 1 so uh, he's a good uh, alternative to a centre back if you need him to fill in there. He can do that thanks to his decent tackling and his good height as well. So he's a very, uh, very flexible player, very versatile, great jumping as well. So he's going to be useful at defending corners and crosses. Should be able to use his height and his jumping to get the ball clear as well. So like I said, if you're looking for a really quick player, uh, right off the bat, someone who can run very fast past defenders or catch up with attackers, this is a great option for you as well. Now he starts at 60 overall, he has 77 potential and he's 18 years old. Plays for RB Leipzig in the German second division and uh, scout's valuation is £120,000. Uh, if you inquire, you can't get him in the first uh, first transfer window, sorry, but if you inquire in January, uh, you should be able to hopefully get him for around about £600,000, £700,000, that sort of range, so he's still a nice cheap player. Uh, his wages are £750, so again, very, very cheap. He's got a four-year contract at Leipzig, he's right-footed with three-star weak foot and two-star skill moves. Now, my final recommendation is Kenny Tetty. He starts at 63 overall and he has 77 potential as well. He's 18 years old and he plays for Ajax. Uh, his scout, uh, sorry, his cost from your scout is £170,000. Send off an inquiry to Ajax and you'll get a price back of £825,000. So you can, uh, you can get that down to around about £600,000 in that sort of range. Just over half a million. Uh, his wages are £1,750 and uh, he has a one year contract so that helps bring his price down a bit. He's right footed with a three star weak foot and two star skill moves. Now what I really like about this guy is that uh, he's one of the most well balanced players that I've found. Uh, very good physical stats, he's got very good pace, 78 acceleration, 76 sprint speed. Hopefully soon that should go up to around about uh, 80, the mid 80s, something like that. Uh, shouldn't take long for that to happen. But as well as that, he's got very decent strength. A lot of fullbacks are very small, uh, very weak, not good at pushing um, sorry, attackers off the ball. 
Not so with this guy, 70 strength is going to become very useful. And uh, also he's 5 foot 11 and uh, has 76 jumping, so he's good in the air as well. Good in the air as well, can defend corners and crosses, that sort of thing. Uh, but if you have a look at his technical stats, he's good uh, going forward and defending as well. Very good dribbling, crossing and ball control, so you can create chances for his teammates. But as well as that, he's got good tackling. So uh, he's going to be a useful defender. And with that strength and jumping, like Klosterman, you may feel that he can fill in uh, at centre-back if you need him to. He's got good tackling, so he should be able to hold his own in the middle of defence as well. So these are my three uh, recommendations. Now I'm going to have a look at how well they did after three years of growth, uh, just to give you a bit of an idea of the type of players that they develop into. So here we have Palace after three years of growth and his technical stats have gone up very nicely indeed. He's now very good at attacking and creating chances for, for his teammates, but also at defending as well. So if we have a look at his 79 crossing, for example, that's gonna be lethal uh, when he goes to get to the byline and get crosses into the box. And his 73 dribbling and 74 short passing I mean he can create chances for both himself and for his teammates uh, when he's going forward but he's not bad at defending either uh, 78 stand tackle 70 marking and 71 slide tackle all those went up four points this season and uh, they could go up more uh, the next season as well so he's very good at defending too and 70 overall 21 years old uh, is a very very good overall and considering we paid about four hundred thousand pounds for him that's a great bargain uh, for a player with very high potential so next up we've got uh, Lucas Klosterman, he's now 69 overall at 20 years old, uh, like I said before that very pacey player, uh, much quicker than Palace, uh, but his technical stats going up well uh, as well. Um, as before he's more focused on defending, uh, so his marking and his stand tackle uh, are his main technical strength. Uh, he also has brilliant interceptions and reactions, so he's going to be very quick to react to uh, opposition passes, that kind of thing, uh, so he can cut them out. Uh, and his height and his good jumping as well uh, mean he's going to be good at centre-back if that's where you want to play him. So he's a good versatile defender with a bit more pace than Palace. And finally we have uh, Kenny Tetti, and he is now also 70 overall, uh, he's 21 years old and his technical stats are very nice as well 74 dribbling and 74 ball control uh, very good going forward and 71 crossing as well so he's going to be able to create chances like palace for his teammates that 74 ball control also means he's unlikely to miscontrol it if he gets the pass uh, played into his feet so uh, it should minimize the chances of him losing the ball and uh, giving the opposition a chance to attack uh, his physical stats as before are very strong uh, so there's not much to choose between him and Palace. Uh, Palace has slightly better technical stats, but Tete has slightly better physical stats. So uh, depending on what sort of player you're looking for, that should help you decide between those two. But they're both very good, both 70 overall, and they've got high potential as well. So that's it for my recommendations uh, today, guys. Make sure you head over to fifascoutingtips.com. Uh, for the entire article, all players with minimum potential of 76 and a maximum cost of £1 million. Uh, leave some suggestions if you found a really good cheap player uh, that isn't mentioned here. Make sure you let me know and uh, share it with all the readers as well. And if you've got any ideas for what you want me to do on this channel, uh, I'd love to hear that as well. Uh, the Scouting God contest is still going on. If you found a really good scouted player, uh, make sure you uh, take a picture leave a link in the comments below or send it over to the FIFA Scouting Tips Facebook page or the Twitter uh, channel as well. All those links will be uh, in the description below for you. So uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.